Alright y'all, what up? This your boy Maw from Maw from Obese Productions. Uh, back on the beat tutorial. Um, I'm going to get into this beat. I've already kind of, I've kind of like already started make, making the track. Uh, but y'all going to come in when I add some more stuff. Uh, I don't know man, it's, drums are kind of, uh, I want to say, kind of big drums. You know what I'm saying? And I uh, got a sample in it, but what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna replay the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep the sample there so I can replay it. So uh, let's get into it, man. All right. Let y'all hear the sample. Yeah, I got in here. <laughs> This how I sound all together. Tell me, man, one thing I like about Reasons, y'all, is that you can combine all kind of different instruments together. You can combine stuff, uh, different uh, racks. You can put different EQs and different things on it, you know. And, you know, I just, since I, I mean, since I, 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 I use reasons uh, for everything, you know, I just learn, just learn how to try to use everything that's in, you know, that comes with it, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, it's good to always try to learn the ins and outs of every record, any kind of software that you get, or any drum machine is that the case, you know what I'm saying, I remember when I had hard, when I had hardware drum machines, I maxed them all out, you know what I'm saying, and then I went over to reasons, and I'm gonna eventually max reasons out unless they come out with a reason. Well, they already got reasons five, but they come out with another add-on to this to the uh, you know actual uh, reasons drumming program. You know the production program. So um, this particular these are some strings that came in there, but I added you know some reverbs and stuff to it. You know. <laughs> and stuff like when you go into recording studio and they got a whole they got a big old patch bay actually this kind of helps you and kind of uh teaches you how to patch different uh modules and stuff together you know it's probably a little more to it in the studios but this kind of give you a basic idea uh, it's pretty educational if you ask me you know what i'm saying just because you have to you know um you can patch different stuff and to get it, different, get different modules. That's in the reasons to work. I think it's dope to do that.
like this look. This uh, well, it's called a Lil Joan whistle, but I'm gonna add it as like a chord, and uh, that's gonna be the last instrument that I add to this. my train of thought but anyway it's a track that I made um, I'm gonna finish it up format it da 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 and uh, you know when I hear this it can be a it can be like a song that somebody can sing on or it can be like somebody that's spitting on it that's like you know really got that's like a really heartfelt kind of like you know song so you know I think it's dope you know Hopefully I'll be able to sell it. But uh that's about it right now, man. I'm gonna go ahead and format the beat. Uh put it out. <laughs> put it out to the public, see if somebody wanna snatch it. And that's a wrap. Alright, until then, this your boy Marfamo Beats. I'm sounding out.